Hi everyone, David Maley here from Tech Know How, and today we're going to do something really cool. I'm going to answer something I've been asked a bunch of times over the past couple of months, which is how to sort a data frame by multiple columns in Python. So let's get started here. So I'm going to import pandas. If you don't have it, you're going to import it. Uh, this is the code to import it. Um, once you have it, so data one equals pd dot read csv. This is how you load in your data set. In this case, my data set is a pizza campaigns data. It could be anything. It could be any store. It doesn't matter. So here is the code I'm using to, once I've imported, this is the import as pandas pd. Everyone knows that one. And this one I'm loading as data one. I'm loading pd.read underscore csv r because if you don't have that r, it won't read this correctly. Um, so raw is for raw string, which means that's how I'm doing this. So this gives, oops, I want to be off of that. Um, this gives me this whole string right here. Right? So I could have a space in between and stuff like that, like I do with pizza campaign. So it's a CSV file. I'm reading a CSV file. And once I have it in, I'm putting that into a data frame. So that's where it's DF1, data frame one, equals pd.dataframe of data one, which is what I originally read in. OK, then I want to see it because if I run this without this bottom line here, I'm not going to see it. So I want to put df1 dot head. I want to see the first six and equals six. So that's what this is. When I run that, this is what I get. Six rows. It's actually zero through five. That's the way Python works. It's like uh, an array of zero, one, two, three, four, five. And what you have here is all of the uh, columns of data. I have campaign number, store number, campaign count, amount, date, customer number, group, and then I've got two bad columns of data that might have been used in the past for some of their garbage data. So we also have to do a little bit of data cleansing in here. So this is like an added bonus here I'm going to show you. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the column names because you have them here, but just in case you might want to know, is it's really the column name. Sometimes there's something behind it that's hidden that you may not see. So you want to put it in here. So you do list of df1.columns.values to list, just like that. And by doing that, it tells you exactly what they are. Is there an underscore or not? Is there something else hidden on it? So by doing this, you've got everything you need there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the last two columns. I show you those are bad data. I want to drop these two. I want to leave all the rest. So how do I do that? I use the drop command. So I use, and I always put it into a new data frame because that way I can always go back if I did something wrong without having to reload or go back multiple steps to load the data back in. So I've got df2 equals df1 dot drop. And then inside there, I've got transaction number bad. I've got the column names, right? And id old, which I've got from here. I can also get them from above, but that's why I got it from here. Axis equals one. So by doing that, it removes them. And then what I'm doing is df2, because I have now have it in df2, data frame 2, head and equals 6, same as I did before. And when I do that, look what I have. Now I've got those two columns are gone, and I'm down to campaign number, store number, the campaign name or campaign, count, amount, date, customer number, and group. Now let's get to the gist of what we want to do here. We wanted to sort by multiple columns, right? So we've already done all that. We've cleansed our data a little bit. Now we're going to do is we're going to take df2, we're going to do sort underscore values, that's the function here, and we're going to sort it by what? Customer number ascending equals true. So this is, we're doing it by one column, and then next I'm going to show you by two columns. So in this case, I just want to show you the difference. So if I do it by customer number, which is about common, you know, commonly you would do, I want to see the customer numbers one through, you know, for an ascending order. That way I can go see if there's duplicates or duplications or multiple purchases. That's where I would start with that. So we use this df sort values by equals customer number in brackets, comma ascending equals true. If you put ascending equals false, then you have descending. Okay, from highest to lowest. I want ascending. Okay, and I put that in df3. Why? Because again, in case something happens, whatever, I don't, I want to get in that process, the thought process of putting it in a new data frame, each change, so I don't lose things. I don't have to go way back to the beginning and start all over again. Okay, then I've got df3.head n equals six. We should have it memorized by now. n equals six. You don't have to use that. You could use n equals five. I don't care. It just gives me the first, in this case, six rows of data. Okay, now keep in mind, it's the first six rows when they're arranged by 
um, sending order. So keep in mind now, the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is no longer there. Now it's based on the customer number. See how that number has changed? So they're in order by customer number. So that's how you do it for one column. But what do you do when you want to have two columns? It's very similar. So the only difference is, is that you do, and I'm doing it again to another one, DF4, in case I want to compare them or whatever I want to do. And I've got df2.sort values, just like I did above, and in brackets. But notice in the bracket, inside the bracket, I have two. I have eight column and I have customer number. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to put it in order. I'm going to sort it by date and then by customer number, which is really helpful. So use this for campaign data, right? You want to see, okay, on day one, how many of these customers bought? On day two, how many of these customers bought? On day three, and so on. That's what you'd be looking at for a campaign, generally speaking. So I've got that comma ascending, and look at the other difference here. I no longer have just ascending equals true. I have to put inside the same bracket, true comma true, right? So if I add something in this bracket, I have to add something in this bracket. So once I've done that and I put that in DF4, then I'm doing the exact same thing in DF4.head n equals six. And look what that does. I have the first six. Now see how this is different than this one? Why? Because I'm not only doing it by customer number, I'm doing it by date first, then by customer number. Okay. So you may have a lower uh, numbered customer, but they're farther down the dates and that changes how it's ordered. So now I have it by date and by number. So I can actually look at the days or the weeks or whatever it is of a campaign and go and look at who bought on which days and so forth, which is really cool. That is how you do ascending or sorting but in ascending order. And if you didn't want ascending, you put false, false. Or you could actually even do a combination here and say, I want ascending equals false true, which means you would have descending order of dates and ascending order of of customer numbers. So it's really cool what you can do with this. It's very simple and easy to do in Python. And you just saw what we did was we loaded our data first off. Then we went and looked at our data, looked at the list, see if there's any weirdness in the names. Then we went and in the column names and stuff. And then we went and dropped two columns of bad data, a little bit of data cleansing there. And then I showed you how to sort it with one column and then how to sort it by two columns in ascending order. And you also know how to send it or to how to sort it by descending order or an alternative like ascending by date and descending by customer number or whatever you like there. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, like and share and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.